Hey, howdy, happy day. Misinformation, that's kind of a left-wing thing. Occasionally it comes to the right, but that's only because we drink too much sometimes. Ha! Just saying, but the left, they do do it all of the time. CBC, the Canadian, what is that? Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, they think they own it. They being the liberals, it's really the Communist Broadcasting Corporation, but in keeping with commies, Russia used to be a communist country. Some think that it still is. In any event, there's a broadcaster at the Canadian CBC who says, Russia is behind this massive freedom trucker protest. <laughs> You're kidding me, right? CBC host NIL, Niall Kozal or somebody. Yeah, he told the Minister of Public Safety this. Really? You call him up and you say that? That all you got? I mean, that is unbelievable. I mean, there's no known ties to Russia. And even if there were, even if there were, there couldn't be, but even if there were, what are you talking about? Don't you, shouldn't you, couldn't you get some evidence? Had some information. I thought you were a broadcaster. Oh, you're a gossip monger. And you're looking after the left because you're owned by the government. You can't think for yourself. You think for them. You think, ah, we got to own everybody. We got to control everybody. Russia did it. Ah, that's annoying. It kind of sounds like the Biden people and the Pelosi's and then the Clintons and all this. Russia did it. Good bloody grief. Some trucker convoy organizers now have a history of white nationalism. So says another group. This group, <laughs> they are called, what are they called? I know this, the Canadian Anti-Hate Network. It exists, I guess, and here's the director of it, executive director Evan Belgord. He says, hey, we've been saying that this is a very far right convoy. The organizers themselves are part of the right movement. They have previously been involved in right wing movements. <laughs> Do you think? <laughs> I think right is good, left is wrong. These are people from the left that are making all this chat stuff going on. Anti-hate experts allege that it's white nationalist people and they're all bigots and they have the views and they're driving the trucks. You guys are bigots. You don't like us white folk. Ah! And the government's the same. And look what Biden's doing. And Biden and Trudeau, they're two peas in a pod. Biden saying, hey, I'm going to get a black woman. That represents about 7% of the entire nation to go on the Supreme Court. 80% of Americans almost say... Hey, we don't agree with that. It's supposed to be on your qualifications, but it doesn't stop them. You can't hold these guys back. They're just, you know, they go, go, go. The GoFund page has raised over $10 million. That was just in a few days, right? For this trucker movement, uh, put that in perspective, the prime mistakes, liberal government in the last quarter, not just in a few days, raised three point some million dollars. The conservative party was close to that amount as well. People care. This is a movement. This isn't about the vaccine. This is about a movement. The current government is implementing rules and mandates that destroy. They destroy the foundation of businesses, industries, and livelihoods in Canada that's been going on for a long time. There's a lot of people. They're out of work. They can't do much. They're sad. Businesses are broke. They have a restaurant. Nobody can come into the restaurant. They have a flower shop. You got to close it. This has been going on. Oh, you can go to Costco, you can go to Walmart, they're open and you can buy flowers. The flower shops are still open if you're a big business and if you donate a whole bunch of money to the liberal cause, it's wrong. Everything they're doing is wrong, wrong, wrong. The Conservative Party in Canada now, they're saying, we need a new leader. So they're looking within people that belong to the party and primarily members of parliament, right? And it's just so bad. And they're all saying the same thing. They're saying, you know what? Diversity, inclusion, we got to be good to everybody. <laughs> it's a huge task to bring the party together, they say. There are many factions within the party, they say. Who cares? Those factions, go somewhere else. Go join the Liberals, you little left-wing part of that faction. Go away. The word conservative, look it up. It doesn't mean including people from the left. doesn't mean if you're a pastor and you have a church that you have this part of your church reserved for atheists and this part for Muslims and this part for Christians. It doesn't mean that. You can try to convert them. But in this scenario, there's no conversion. What it is, is to have separate little slots for everybody, and that's not right. It's a conservative party. Is there any part of that word you all don't get? Ah, conservatives. Get rid of all the other people. Change the people within the party. And then, of course, you can change the party. But the party's conservative. If you aren't, are not, bleh, go back. Go back to a name like progressive conservative. That one that says two things, virgin hooker. That one, you know, don't keep a name that doesn't say or imply or talk about what you are. I mean, because it's wrong. It's fraudulent. It's wrong. It's misrepresentation because you're not a conservative party and you have all these factions. Go by conservative rules. Small government, big opportunities, freedom.
You should have the right to defend yourself. You should have the right to free speech. There's so many things that you no longer have in Canada. Canada is a socialist country. And you guys, you MPs, you conservatives, you watched it happen, you let it happen. Even your own leader, the guy that's no longer the leader, you didn't stand up and say, ah, this is bad. You did not. So you know what? People that aren't conservative either get converted fast or get the heck out of the party and that other people come into the party, so you're going to have a conservative party. You need a different voice in Canada. Right now everybody says the same thing. They just look different. You got the, I don't know, all the different leaders. <laughs> you, need, you need to have, look at the U.S. when Trump was there. There was clear differences, distinct difference. Doesn't matter if you agree or disagree, at least you had a choice. People stood for something. Trump stood for a lot of things, like it or not. No one in the conservative party has ever stood up and said, I stand for something. They're just standing kind of out in their field, right? And Joe Biden, Justin Trudeau, they get their feelings hurt, right? So social media, it hurts me. People are saying bad things. Guess what? Go to any program now on YouTube and hit the dislike button. It's disconnected. It's only like there were <laughs> Trudeau and Biden. They come out with so many different things. And, and the, the graph is really big for don't like, dislike, and really, really small for like. And now it's just like, pay attention to this. You're right. Your freedoms. They're monitoring what you say. If they don't agree with what you say, you can't say it. And if you do say it, they're going to mute you. Is this right? <laughs> it ain't right. It is so wrong. It is just terrible. It's terrible. Blah, blah, blah. It's so bad. It's, just, it's frightening. Diapers and politicians should be changed often and for the same reason. Mark Twain said that. Words of wisdom. Hey, coming from your wiser advisor, you all come back. See ya.